Good morning, Modern Steaders. This morning, we're gonna install an interior barn door sliding rail kit for our new door we built yesterday. Let me show you the setup we have already in the house. We already have one set up in here, and this is the old doors that we've used. These doors are from an old 1800s farmhouse that we put a piece of pine on to make them wide enough. The doors are all right. We're kinda eh, happy with them. But I'm not 100% sold on, that's why we only have two in here. So we're gonna install the new barn door that we built and hopefully that will look pretty cool and maybe we'll change all the interior doors to that. So let's get the hardware put up on the wall then we can bring the door in and get that mounted. Oh, did you see that? We got a wild beast. We have it. Oh, there it is again. Oh my goodness. Pluto, we got a wild beast in the house. What? Oh man, what is it? Oh, two of them. What is it? Oh, what is that thing? Oh my goodness. What is it? Pluto, what's in the house? Oh. We have an old antique slider that's hard and noisy to move. And then we have this style that we got on Amazon for a really good price that just glides. And so nice. And they were only, when we bought them, they were, I believe, $40 on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description down below. So this style is what we're gonna be putting over here. So let's get the top rail mounted. So the slide rail is really nice, but the directions are terrible, I tell you. Just terrible. So luckily I have one up, and I kind of remember, we did that last year, and we bought two kits at the same time, and I kind of remember how they go. When you order your slide rail kit, you want to make sure, you got to order them for your door width. One thing I messed up on, and I'll show you after, was the placement of my rail on the other door. This rail is 72 inches long, so our doors are 36. So I ran the rail past wrong. You need to run your rail to the same position where your door is gonna be when it's closed. And then that'll give you the same length left over on each side. If you wanna see the little beast that was sticking its paws out from the door, you have to wait till the end of the video when Gina and Olivia get home and they can show you Figaro. Pull it up. Be nice to Figaro. Us having an all pine house, we can just drill right into it. We don't gotta worry about hitting a stud or sheetrock or anything. Now I only marked and pre-drilled two of the holes. I didn't get the holes down that end. I got to make spacer plates. Give you some nice long lag bolts. Awesome. So before we go two nuts secure in the far end, I'm gonna go get the door mounted and make sure that this rail is where we want it. Let me show you the directions they give you. This is what you get for directions. It's in millimeters too. That doesn't make it any better. You take our slides our drill, we need to go outside, we need to sand the door down one more time, and then get these mounted, hopefully in the right position, in the right spot, so we don't have to put more holes in the door than we need to. Fingers crossed.
Our stainless steel benches came in yesterday. We haven't opened them yet. We'll be setting those up in the next few days. We're not gonna need this clamp anymore, so let's get the clamp off. Get it out of our way. better in the house. It might get a little noisy, but I want to clean out all the little ant holes and everything with the blowgun and these little holes. Get all the sawdust out of them and all this, the dust that we have from sanding. our top rails. Okay, so I decided let's see, that I want them two inches from the end, and then this top hole needs to be 81 and three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the door. And that should give us all the right measurements that we need. So hold that there. This will be fun. <clears throat> Double check all of our measurements. 81 and 3 quarters. All the hole lined up. Perfect. We'll leave that screw out for now until we got it in the house and we know it's where we need it. Now comes the moment of truth. Will it fit on the reel? <laughs> That's the fun part. Last time we did one of these, we had to refigure it all. Because like I said, those directions aren't that good. We figured everything right. There is the moment of truth. I hope this one works a lot better. Let's see. So far, so good. Not out of the woods yet. In the hallway it's hard to see but wow that looks nice come up the stairs from the basement yeah that looks nice so we figured a nice tight fit there we have just enough clearance down here that works out perfect we're gonna have to get make a brace or make a bracket to hold these in place. That's what we did on our other doors and it works nice. Took the door back off. I wanna make sure this is leveled before I screw the other end. I need two three quarter inch thick spacers to space the last two bolts off of the wall. And I don't wanna put a big block. So what I'm gonna be using is an inch and a quarter hole saw bit. to clean this up a little bit but that'll give me a nice spacer. I'm just gonna take a sanding block and clean up the edges a little bit. Okay. 
All right. It has a hole in the center, but it's not big enough. So now I'm gonna make the hole wider. So now we just need to put the level back on there, get it leveled off. Working in the hallway makes for some fun videoing. Nice tight spot. So we got our two spacers, the one that they the metal one that comes with it, and then we have the wood one that we just made. Nice and level. Awesome. Let's drill the last hole. We'll put the door back on. Let's see if we can drill and record at the same time. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. It's on. How does it slide? You can't go too far. We don't have the stops up yet. We should be able to go. Ooh, I like that. We can get the stop to go to there-ish. That'll be nice. Then we'll set it to around right there. Ooh, I like it, Pluto. I like it. These are the stops that come with the door. We need to position them like that, because that's where we want the door to stop. So I'm going to just slide the door forward. Because on this side, we got to tighten up the little Allen heads from the bottom. Nice. Then it'll hit the stop. Boom. It won't go any further. Same, on the other side of the door, we got to do the same thing. I have a pencil mark right there. And that's where I want the door to shut. The door comes with this little door stop so the door doesn't kick out on the bottom. That's plastic and I don't like the look of it. So we're going to bend up our own using some flat stock metal and we'll make it look like that. That to me just looks more old, rustic, and just goes better with the doors. So let's go make one. So we got, we measured the thickness of our door and then the space between the door and the wall. I put a mark on the piece of flat stock and I'm gonna stick it in our vise on that mark. We're gonna use a map gas torch. Get it as hot as you can. Yeah. I'm going to drill two holes. The screws they give you have a tapered head, so I'm going to get a bigger bit and taper that hole. I'm going to step it up two drill bit sizes. By doing that, the screw head fits nice and flush. Now, to me, that looks a lot nicer than that. So the point of this is to keep the door in because it naturally wants to kick out. And if you're pushing on the door, same thing. It's gonna wanna kick out. So we wanna keep this. All right, so I got it so the door will open up further enough so we can get in here with our screw gun and drill this in place. Nice, that'll hold the door. Now 
now it's the big reveal. Let's see how the girls like the door. That door is amazing. Oh, I love it. You love it? Would you want one in your bedroom? Yeah. What do you got in your hand? A keycap. You got Figaro? Yeah. He debuted by showing his paws out from under the bathroom door today. I said, they'll have to wait till Olivia and Gina get home and you can meet Figaro. I've been looking forward to this. We haven't had breakfast pizza in a long time. I was time. expecting this. Mm. Yeah, it's breakfast pizza. Figaro, Figaro. Pull up, come. Hello. We made a big one. We'd have leftovers for breakfast mm. in the morning. Awesome. Oh. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up for Figaro. We got Figaro the other night. He is doing well. Him and Pluto are getting along pretty good. I'll have to post some pictures on Instagram with the two of them. Aww. If you like the video, share it. It really helps the channel grow. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Love the Acres, a guide to modern home setting, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. bye. Say bye, Figaro. Bye, Figaro. Say, Figaro, can you say bye? Can you wave? Okay.